Section 2207 of the Uniform Commercial Code, or UCC, controls whether additional terms found in an acceptance become part of a sale of goods contract. The Second Circuit applied the notoriously convoluted section in Bayway Refining Company versus Oxygenated Marketing and Trading. In February of 1998, Bayway Refining Company verbally agreed to sell 60,000 barrels of a gasoline blend stock to Oxygenated Marketing and Trading, or OMT. Afterward, OMT faxed Bayway a confirmation letter, which functioned as an offer. Bayway faxed OMT its confirmation letter the next day. That document, which functioned as an acceptance, incorporated Bayway's general terms and conditions by reference. Those terms and conditions weren't shared with OMT, but they included a tax clause requiring a buyer to pay any federal excise tax incurred by the seller. OMT didn't object to Bayway's acceptance or to the incorporation of its general terms and conditions. As it turned out, the Internal Revenue Service imposed an excise tax on the sale of gasoline blend stocks, payable by the seller to any buyer not registered for a certain tax exemption. After delivery, Bayway learned that OMT wasn't registered for the tax exemption. The transaction created a tax liability of $464,000, which Bayway paid. Citing the tax clause, Bayway demanded payment of that amount from OMT. When OMT refused to give it, Bayway sued for breach of contract. Bayway moved for summary judgment, and the district court granted the motion on the ground that the tax clause was properly incorporated into the party's contract. OMT appealed to the Second Circuit.